back in Stephanie's kitchen, and today I'm gonna to make some cube steak. Um, my mom used to make this, I still love when she made this stuff, but I found another way to make it that's a little bit more, um, it even gets a little more tender, and it has a, little, a lot less grease in it. So I'm gonna show you my way to make my cube steak, okay? So, I gotta get me a spatula, because I need to work with that. Okay, now, what ingredients I have is some black pepper, some onion powder, some onion salt, just a little bit of this um, toasted onion and garlic. I have my bedroom bouillon, which is um, which is uh, a broth, beef broth, broth. I have ground thyme. Of course, I'm using some all-purpose flour. I'm using some Crisco with vegetable oil. And in my in my uh, flour, I'm using some beef base, a little bit of gra uh, beef gravy base in my in my flour. Okay, now I'm gonna season this up. And to season it up, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little of all the seasoning on, on my meat. I have about two pounds of cube steak here. And um, I'm going to sprinkle, sprinkle it and get it together. These were frozen. I took them in and put them in the refrigerator overnight. They still were a little frozen. And then so, I just put in a little water after that until they thaw it out perfectly for me. So that's the onion powder. Just a little bit of some pepper. Sprinkle some pepper on here. Some thyme. Sprinkle thyme on there. Thyme is always good on beef. Actually, it is good on, um, on chicken also. It's a good a good spice to use this time. So I use that often and it makes a huge difference. And a little bit of this onion and garlic, just a little bit, because you don't want that much garlic on this. Just a little. At least I don't want just that much garlic on there. Okay, and a little onion, salt, and just a sprinkle. And generally, I only put onion salt on one side of my ground, of my um, cube steak. I don't usually do more than that. Turn them over, still get a little, gotta get some more. Here we go again. A little sprinkle here. A little pepper. Definitely a little of this. Just a little bit. And I'm not going to put any onion salt in it. And I'm not putting onion salt on it because generally, I, like I said, I don't want to use too much salt. And I can taste the gravy. I can make the gravy saltier if it needs more salt. So now we put some vegetable oil in the pan. We put it right in the pan. Just to cover it, just enough to cover the bottom. I'm gonna turn my stove on. Medium, about medium heat. Let it get hot. It's gonna take a couple minutes. I put a, a teaspoon of this granulated uh, gravy base in here. And I have my, of course, uh, all-purpose flour in here. And I put a little uh, onion powder. I put everything that I have here in here too, so that it could just get some extra seasoning. Now, it should be done, because I can see a little shimmer on here. So it should be ready for me to, and you can just throw a little flour in there and watch it fry. <laughs> and then you know, your pan's getting hot, and I see it's getting hot. So, I'm gonna dredge it, dredge the, um, cube steak 
and flour, just like that. That's all we need. And we stick it in the oil. And it's getting there. Okay. There you go. You ju I just want to get this thing brown on both sides. That's all I'm trying to do here. Then it's going directly in my pot. Yeah. My mom used to make this all the time. Boy, I just love when she made this. It was one of my favorite things. And she would make this either this or, or fried chicken on Sunday. <laughs> and this is a very cheap cut of meat. And I think this was like $5.99 a pound, which wasn't really bad. So I got two pounds. And it'll be enough for dinner and enough for me to take some to work with me for, for lunch. So it should be fine. Just let this, I'm gonna let this brown and I'll be back. So I want everybody to see that in my crock pot hole, I put in one onion, one sliced onion, and I put it at the bottom of the bowl. And I need you guys to see that that's how I do that. So I'm gonna put that in, in after this, this, um, this thing, uh, the pizza is ready to actually go into the bowl. So I'm just gonna slide one out and show you. I just put it directly in the bowl, right into the piece, right into the, right on top like that. So now, cause I just needed my steak, my uh, steak to just get brown. That's all I needed. I don't want it done. I just want it brown. So I'll bring you back when I get the last two done. Okay, I'm turning over my cube steak in the pan so you can see what it looks like. Every time I use two stacks, I don't like it just flat. So I use two. There we go. And you can see it's brown on one side. It needs about a minute and a half and it'll be done. It'll be ready to go in that pot. It's ready to go in the pot. I'm sitting around on the other side nicely. Yep, and it's brown on the other side. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now it goes in the pot. You might hear, you gotta go in there too. Okay. And in the pot it goes. Turn off this pot. Now, I'm gonna take some of the, of the flour mixture and I'm gonna put it right on the top of the rest of this. Just sprinkle it on here. Just sprinkle it on. Not, I'm actually not even gonna use all of it because I really don't need all of it. And I'm also going to put in the other onion. That was two onions. Put the other onion in. Bring my crock over to the pot over here. Bring my crock pot over. Put it in. And I'm also, I'm using about a cup and a half of um, better than bouillon. Now, all I really need in here, because it will make its own juice in the crock pot. Crock pot's also, also another nice appliance to buy. So once it's cooking, you ain't got to worry about it. It ain't going to burn. I'm going to stick the rest of that in here, right on top. That's all I'm doing. Again, get all that good out, all of it. Okay, put the top on. Turn my crock pot on, setting is high, enter, and it's off to cook. And then we'll be back in four hours and you'll see how this looks. Be a nice, nice gravy and it's beautiful. Uh, Cube steak for tomorrow, for dinner. And I like to cook things early and just warm it up. Because usually things that's cooked early 
and it sits a day, tastes better. So a day or so tastes better. So I like to kind of do it early if I can. So I'll be back when it's done. Hey, YouTube, I'm back. Dude, my cube steak has been on for three hours. Um, I know it's done. So what I'm going to do is actually put it in my little bowl here because uh, I hope that bowl's big enough because um, I, I, we're going to eat this tomorrow. So I'm going to open it up. Ooh, you see, I only put a cup of a uh, cup and a half of um, a broth in here, and you see it made its own its own juice. It made its own gravy. You don't gotta make no gravy. It doesn't have a lot of grease in it. And it's tender and uh, ready to go. I didn't do nothing to the onions except throw them in there. I'm gonna put them in here. You should definitely have enough room for this thing. Put all the gravy. Tomorrow I'll make some potato salad. That's pot not potato salad, mashed potatoes. Gonna oh. show you that it is tender. I don't even need it. I don't even actually don't need a knife. It will just come right off, really. I'll just do it like that. Let's take a little piece of this one. It is. Here we go. That's all I'm gonna eat right now. See that? Wonderful. I eat everything really hot. <laughs> it is delicious. It, it's fabulous. Okay, lady. Okay, everybody. Good night, Facebook. And I thank you very much for coming into my to see my channel. And please give me thumbs up, share, like, subscribe. But please. Just keep watching me. I'll show you what I'm gonna show you. You can give me any suggestions, whatever you need, <laughs> whatever you wanna say, I appreciate. But I really appreciate you guys. And I'm here because I wanna do I wanna do this. Have a good one.